Good morning. Hey, I'm up here in Alaska, not far from the Arctic Circle. And as I travel around the United States, and even as I travel around the world, I hear the same thing from folks. And that is, they really don't understand money. They don't understand how it works. They think they know how to earn it, but they really don't. And they don't understand what it's even for. See, most people, probably including you, think that money is meant to be spent and money should be used to buy things. And my friend, that is not, that's not the case. That's not what money's for. What money's for is to go out and get more money, to earn more money, to give you freedom. And when you use money to earn money, you pay less taxes. You have more freedom. You have more choices. And you can get a nice boat. <laughs> You get a nicer boat than that. Wow. Let me zoom in on that thing. This was not planned, by the way. Let me see if I can switch this camera around. Now I'm not gonna be able to, but check this out. That thing's rotten. See, if you don't know how to use money, you don't understand what money's for, that's what you end up with. A rotting piece of wood that used to probably be a pretty nice ship that could make you significant amount of money that would allow you to leverage it so that money can go out there and earn some more. Here's an example of a nice ship versus that. So here's the first thing you should know about money. Other than it is not meant to spend or buy things, but money is made, money is meant to make more money. But here's the thing you need to know about it after you figure that out. So maybe the second thing you need to know. Man, this is a greenhouse on, on uh, water right here. You gotta check this one out. I didn't plan on this. I'm just walking here to the docks. All right, I'll get back to the video. <laughs> so here's the, the second thing you need to know about money. Now that you know that money's the purpose of money. Pay thyself first. There's a book that I read every single January of every year, and that's The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a very small book. It's got the five things you need to know about money, how to make it, how to build it, how to keep it, how to protect it, make it grow. And why you might ask, why do I read it every single every year? Well, because it's very simple. And see, money's not complicated. That's the problem is most people think money's very complicated and it's not, it's really simple. And so I read this book every year because it reminds me how simple it actually is. Here's the first thing you need to know. Pay thyself first. Pay yourself first. So while I've been up here, I've been doing a little bit of fishing, spent a lot of time with some fellow entrepreneurs, some business partners, associates. <coughs> and we've been talking a lot. And what I found with a lot of these captains, just like probably you and most people in the world, uh, they don't pay themselves first. Most Americans, not all, but most Americans, pay Uncle Sam first. See, they pay their silent business partner first. That's right, they pay Uncle Sam first. See, he's really your business partner, except, except he has no money in the game. He doesn't really give you anything. He doesn't invest in you. You invest in him. You gotta pay him a third of everything that you make. You gotta put up all the money, all the work, everything, all the stress. He simply takes a third and you pay him first. If you want to learn, actually that's not the right word. If you want to start growing wealth and become wealthy and free, you gotta stop paying your silent business partner first and you need to learn how to legally not pay him you notice i said legally because there's a lot of guys out there that will tell you how to illegally not pay him and if you do this you're going to end up in jail or potentially could end up in jail and i don't know about you i look damn good in this fortress university blue shirt not so good in orange so Everything I talk about 
is 100% legal. So you gotta learn how to pay yourself first so you don't have to pay your silent business partner, Uncle Sam, first. So that's the first thing you need to learn about money is how to pay yourself first. So I'm gonna go over that real quick. If you are a business owner, you need to start taking a little bit of money, start with 1% of your gross, start putting in a separate bank account, a bank account that you don't check every day, bank account that you don't have online access to, you don't have a checking account, you don't have a debit card. It's literally just a savings account. Uh, we have one that we recommend that you reach out to me and I'll send you a link to it. And it pays you 2% a month versus the 0.01%. Uh, but it's really not about the interest rate that you're earning, but it's rather that you're doing it. And a lot of business owners, they'll tell me, man, I can't afford to do that. Come on, man. It's your business. You started the business not to fund the business, but for the business to fund you. I had someone last week, and no, I'm sorry, last year, <coughs> tell me, man, Rondi, I love these ideas, but we can't afford to do that. We're not big enough. This guy's making $10 million a year. Let me restate that. His business is collecting $10 million a year. And they're not even taking 1% out. Now, this is how you start. You start by 1%. And then you start growing it. A month later, it's 2%. Three months is 3%. And at the end of the year, I want you at 10%. See, what happens... When you pull the top 10% off of gross, you don't end up with a ship like that. A business, because this is a business that looks like that. So you start with 1%, pull it off every month. 1% of the gross, put it in a separate bank account. You don't have access to it. You're gonna forget about it. See, the IRS figured this out. Your business partner, Uncle Sam, he figured this out a long time ago. See, he figured out that you're gonna pay your, you'd spend all your money and you wouldn't have anything left over. And when it come time to pay him, you spend it all. And so that's why the IRS, the government started in the fifties to collect out of our paychecks because they want their money first. But you as a business owner need to pay yourself first, not uncle Sam. So pull it out 1% a month until you get up to 10%. Now, if you're not a business owner, what can you do? Well, it's the same thing. Go into HR at work and say, look, I want 1%, whatever that is for you, of gross, not net, 1%. I want you to pull that out and put it in this bank account. And what will happen is just like with the business owner, you'll start accruing money. And this needs to go in a separate account. This is not an emergency fund. This is not a vacation fund. This is not a beer fund, right? I've heard about all these funds that people have. Jordan Belfort, a friend of mine, used to have a, a blow and hookers fund. It was actually way loose. But anyway, hookers and blow, right? And it was tax deductible. Not so much anymore, but it used to be. I digress. So if you're a W 2 employee, you go into HR and you pull 1% out in the next month, 2%. If you can get up to 10% right away, do it. But it's kind of like a diet or training for a marathon. You don't just try running 20 miles in the first day. Maybe you right, run two blocks, and that's four blocks, and then it's eight blocks, etc. whatever it is. But this is how you start paying yourself first. And in a year, you're gonna be pulling 10% a year out of your gross paycheck. And the next thing you know, you got a bunch of money in there, right? You're paying yourself first. And that's the first thing you need to know about how to start building wealth. Pay thyself first, everybody else second. If you do that, my friend, you'll wake up one day extremely wealthy. I'll see you tomorrow.